Hello, Carlo here, and I'd just like to make a quick update on what's been going on, and one thing I really have to talk about. Actually, two things. So, let's start. Let's talk about how busy it's, I'm going to be these days. So, as far as college work goes, as far as college work goes, I'm just going to let you know that my college semester, my second semester, is already starting, and it's just, and this is already my first week. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be very busy and I'm not sure how I'm going to fit in everything else. Like basically the, um, everything I would, everything I normally do on YouTube and other stuff outside of college work, like playing games and doing something for the esports because I managed to get myself in the esports. I'm not sure if I will be in esports, but I'm trying to see what I can do in that one. After all, I don't. I enjoy playing video games, especially like not and not just when I'm streaming. In general, after all, after all the enjoyment I still get from TF2, and I should definitely think about other games. Who knows? Maybe I'll think of something to stream it when I can. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna let you know that it's start. It's already. It's already. It already happened. So I don't know how it's good, how this is gonna work out, but I'll see what I can do. Now, as for the projects, I have a fan film that I have that I haven't even finished editing in a year yet because I barely even decided to think about when to work on it. But it's it's so cheaply done. It doesn't help that we had only one week to work on it. I went to filmmaking class for a week about a, more than a year ago. Actually, maybe more than two years ago. I actually took film class for only one week. This is and this is what's sad. I only had one week to um to make to make a short film that was like six minutes or something this was this counts pre-post or pre-production po production okay pre-production post-production and production itself of course not exactly in the order but yeah yeah all three um parts that uh, that is important that are important for making a film and I still have to edit it. And there are plenty of things that didn't make sense. And if we had more time, we'd probably think about what kind of um, how the how the film would actually go. And we I was originally going to have myself have I was originally going to have a good ending in the film, but I think I'm going to make it even shorter by just having a bad ending instead. Because you're going to see you know, when I actually get it ready. It's it's just weird. I think I could have thought of some better kind of story for my film, but. It is what it is. If I had more than a week, or if not more than a month, maybe I'd have more time. But, and plus, it also doesn't help that there were only three classmates in the class, including myself. So there's that. Now, as for music projects, well, um, here's some here's some examples. Okay, so what you just saw was a few stuff and a few things in Logic Pro X, really just two things. And also something in a program called Famous Studio. I recommend looking it up if you can. I'll leave um I'll leave the, the title so you can actually look it up on YouTube if you need to know how to spell it. And it's a free NES making music it's a free NES music making program. Like Famous Tracker, it, it is used for making APA NES music, of course. But unlike Famous Tracker, which uses a tracker format, Fama Studio uses a sequencer format, much like, um, or sequencer interface, if you want to say that, much like Logic Pro X, and F also FL Studio, if you want to put that in. And I hope we can get more programs like Fama Studio, but for other system sound chips. There's Master System, there's Genesis, Game Boy, can we count Game Gear? Neo Geo, Atari stuff, if you want to count that in. Oh, Commodore 64. Because I've enjoyed Commodore 64 covers these days, and there are plenty that that sound um that that sound um very good, especially even though they ha may not it may not be as advanced as NES in terms of music chips, and also the Super Nintendo. Because yeah, 
Thankfully, there is a way how to do it with the C700 plugin while exporting SBC. You just have to, I'll leave a link below in the description for the tutorial so you can check it out. And he also did it for other for another VST as well, but two VSTs, one of which is free. And if you think about it, it it's not as bad, um, it's not as hard as you may think. But as far as studio, as far as programs go or workstations like Famous Studio, I hope we can get the same thing for other sound chips, like what I just listed. Anyway, so about Nintendo, as I'm mentioning in the title, well, this is one thing I really got to talk about. So about Nintendo, what's my problem here? Well. Well, ever since I saw, ever since after I saw um the, that, the latest video about Nintendo on, uh, or I'm not sure about the latest, but a video from Nintendo about Nintendo called Nintendo was at it again by Richard for ViewTech USA. When I started hearing about it, I I began uh, sharing videos like 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 that one, and maybe I'll share more um that called Nintendo out about this. And plus, I even uh, shared the same three kinds of tags against Nintendo and how they should fix their issues uh, all over Nintendo's YouTube channel. But then I talked with pe actually this was after I talked with some some a certain number of people or um or a certain group of people on a Discord server, and they they were, and when I tried mentioning per permission, and they it still didn't. And and even when I mentioned permission, I could still feel the uh, hear the I could still see um how people were very frustrated and they have a right and for something that that took a lot of work uh, there there is a good reason to be frustrated when it gets um all blocked up and shut down and all that kind of stuff it, the anger is very natural it it is human absolutely it I can understand it but then I talked with the people in another server. And then, it turns out from what I've gathered, it seemed that Nintendo actually had to take down fan games from what I've gathered. Now, here's the thing. When you go through, dip, when you go, um, when you hear from different perspectives or from different people that have different thoughts on this stuff, it's hard to think of a conclusion. And because of that, someone that really knows a lot about this and someone that is eager to do a lot of research on it because I don't really, I'm not familiar enough to actually make a video about it. Anyone that is should really think about a, making a video on on how bad this really is and how and, and whether this affects the company or not. Now, granted, this stuff will if if people actually pay, if more people pay attention to it. As a matter of fact, um, all the videos that call out Nintendo for it, the latest ones, you can basically share share it to others. I'm like a Nintendo's YouTube channel if you want. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you guys, but honestly. Uh, as much as I, I I would like to see a video on this kind of situation because it would be very helpful and considering how people are on different perspectives with the situation of Nintendo taking down fan games, there needs to be one there has to be one that that is uh, that is easy to agree with and one is actually simply right. And because of that, what would we do with that one? Now, honestly, what? We'll, now, for anyone that's wondering how it's going to end out, in my opinion, well, how do you, what do you guys think? Uh, uh, or what? For anyone who wants to hear what I think is going to happen later on, well, even look, no matter like even when um, we do what we can to understand it and may, try to make it stop, which I recommend you guys do. If you want something to stop happening, you have to be um, you have to to keep uh, doing what you can to get Nintendo to hear you guys, like just fight hard and all that kind of stuff i listened i heard that from a video called a history of nintendo and anti-consumerism but you know what i have a theory about this as well so actually this is not really a theory this might as well be a rumor i think in maybe less than a year or maybe at least or at most a year from now i think nintendo might actually um might actually stop doing this um later on because because here's the thing: if the anger gets very high, then I and I guarantee that Nintendo will at least explain, maybe not explain their laws, but maybe perhaps find a way to compromise with this kind of stuff, so both Nintendo and the fans can come to better terms. Terms, but now obviously this may not be the DMCA takedowns and all that may not be popular enough. Well, maybe with the exception of Stick Drift, which all three companies actually suffer from. And honestly, all of them could be ta could be um, sued. Hopefully, they hopefully they get sued more than once, perhaps. But I don't know. There has to be a better way to solve that. But 
who knows? I think in at in at most a year. I'm saying at most. I think this will all. Um, I think this might actually stop later on, because there's always a time when companies can uh, find a way to improve. And as a matter of fact, remember remember Sony Animation. Well, remember when we had all these all these all these movies like the Hotel Transylvania movies and also the Emoji movie. Remember that. And then we got Spider Verse. Well, I'm hoping that uh, well, remember, and it showed how how um, good movies can actually come out of Sony Animation, which is why I expect more out of Spider Verse. I haven't researched much about when any other animated movies coming out from the company as, uh, after that one, but yeah, I'm hoping that this can get better later on. We want things to get better. We don't want it to get worse. Other now, honestly, I don't think I have anything else to say. And I I don't want to keep talking about negative topics a lot because I've talked about negative things about Nintendo for for the last few videos I've made discussing them, and I don't want to I don't want to keep doing that. I don't want to. Don't get me wrong. I want I want the every what what Nintendo is called out for that even I'm part part of calling out them calling them out for. I want that to be known as well. My point is that. Um, the next one is not going to be something like that because I'm getting tired of it and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are. Not everyone want, wants to make... And it's just like, even Rich is the same kind of person for that one. He wants things to be good. As he said in his video, calling out EA, tw EA's 20, EA for their 2018 press conference for E3. But anyway, um, I gotta, I'm got i going to think of another kind of video I can discuss that's actually more... It's actually um, different than this one because I've... This has gotten more and more unoriginal, and it's getting even worse. And if, if this gets big enough for, uh, to, for a lot of people to know, it really will then ruin Nintendo. And that's why I want stuff to be, like this to be fixed. But anyway, I'm running out of things to say. So, uh, and this was also done without a script, so it's not easy thinking about this a lot. Anyway, this is Carlo signing out, and I gotta get some sleep. Have a good one, guys. This was not a very um, easy video to make.